Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews. And I am doing another G.I. Joe and the Rise of Cobra figure. And this is the lovely Baroness. Pretty standard packaging here. She looks a lot like the original figure released back in the 80s. A few differences though. Got a nice file card there. So pretty standard packaging. But let's take a quick break and we'll check her out. Alright, I'm back and we have Baroness here. And let's go ahead and take a quick look at her accessories. Let's take a look at this ugly thing, just get it out of the way. You know, the huge missile launchers like usual. At least they put a little detail in it. You got a little color like the, the virus or whatever stuff's in there. So, the chemical that's in it. So at least they put a little detail in that one, but again... They could do away with those big, stupid things. And you have this big like, grappling hook. And then this pole that they can stand on actually has some foot pegs. They can hold on to it to raise them up. Kind of neat. And uh, her briefcase. It's pretty cool. Opens up. It says Mars on the front there. And a few of the little accessories, you have the little thing that goes in the case, you can store in there. And then she comes with two pistols, as you can see. So my big fingers are always in, in the way of these little weapons. It's hard to get them on camera without my fingers being in the way. But very small pistols, and they have these little, little pegs on the back. And she has peg holes in her legs where they can just peg in, which is pretty cool. She's got one on each leg, so you can have both her pistols there. It's pretty neat. And, of course, her dog tag that says Baroness. With the cobra symbol there. Very cool. And let's take a quick look at the figure. I'm not going to go through all the articulation. You know, you guys should know the G.I. Joe articulation. Very good good detail. They actually gave her heels. It's kind of neat. And she still stands pretty good, especially with the battle stand. Still has the peg holes. Very cool. A lot of little, uh, little studded detail. Silver studs all over on her outfit. She got a very cool silver cobra emblem there. And, you know, very cool detail, except for the head. I mean, if you look at her face, that's just like it hideous. It doesn't have a good likeness at all. You know, she's a you know, pretty lady. Not too bad looking, but if you look at this figure, you know, she's not very attractive. So they could have done a lot better job on that. But she does have some uh, sunglasses there. Kind of translucent. But they're not movable or anything. You might be able to rip them off, but they're not supposed to move. So <clears throat> not too bad. So thanks for checking this out.